Hello and welcome to the video review of my 3D printed G1 RC prototype. This is something very exciting for me because this is the first commission that I've ever done and I am very happy to say that it turned out very well, in my opinion. The client wanted to have RC to complete his G1 collection and I happened to be on the same page and therefore I agreed to make this my first ever commission. So let's take a look first at her alt mode. I tried to copy her prototype design as closely as possible, but I, tr I kept on trying to figure out how to transform her and how they actually made her look like the alt mode that showed up in the magazine. And I actually never fully understood that. So what I did was I tried to take elements from G1 Blur and try and make something that resembles her alt mode in G1. And this is what we ended up with. Here she is next to Blur and Hot Rod. And I think once you've painted her up, she fits in quite nicely as well. I did create another pair of another set of hands for her. And this pair of hands you see in front of you right now, they're based on the design that was shown in the prototype. So to transform her, first you have to remove the shield and you take off the gun at the back. And there you're left with another version of the RC alt mode. That sort of works as well. Then you pull up her tail fin and flip up her heel spurs. Now this is a parts former because my client and I, we both used resin printers and we both think that if we are to implement hinges on this design, it would be quite brittle for our resin to handle. So we opted for parts forming. After all of that, your next step would be to splay the arms outwards to give space for you to remove the seats. Then you remove the front. From now on, you see the base. So you just flip the legs forwards and shift them closer to the crotch and to form one crotch section. Angling upwards, you could see me plugging in the backpack piece into one of the peg holes and rotate her arms forwards as well. Um, I had to take it off camera because I couldn't believe my eyes. Unfortunately, the paint has rubbed on my RC, RC's shoulder and that was really distracting for me. I had to take it off camera to take a look at it. But um, here she is with her shield on and her little blaster that's stored in the back of her old mode. And she looks quite nice. I have to fix that um, paint defects really really quickly because it's really bothering me um, and I've actually fixed it while editing this video so here you have a full 360 of her because it's been bothering me so much um, here and for the sake of the review here she is with the alternate hands that I actually prefer displaying her with because um, she resembles more of the prototype. So here she is next to Hot Rod and the Cup. Articulation wise, her hands move forwards and backwards. Her arms can splay outwards as seen in the transformation and her elbows bend a full 90 degrees. So I'm gonna pose her as you have seen her in the prototype image. And here she is with all of her 1986 movie cast. I'm very happy to say that she completes my collection at the moment. I don't have wheelie yet, but she makes it, the collection look so nice and I'm going to put her in the center of the collection next to Hot Rod. Very happy with this project and I hope you enjoy her too. She is on sale at Colts 3D. If you've got a 3D printer yourself, you can pick her up and enjoy it yourself as well. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Click right here to see two of my older videos. I think you'll enjoy it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It'll really help me out. Thank you so much. Goodbye.